Hello, beautiful souls. How are you today? I had a a great morning. I did a lot of content and I checked that I was supposed to record today, which is something I always do. And I got, wait a minute, topic change. Because all of my content is divinely led. I'm like, okay, tap the brakes. What am I being led to speak on now? And Hathor, El Moria, and others are aware that we have tried very hard to drive more engagement on the channel here and on Rumble and more engagement and more traffic to VioletLotusEnergy.com. So today is a, a reintroduction to Healing Disclosures with Nicole. And where did I come from? How did I get here? What's this girl talking about? And as my original videos started prior to the podcast days, no script, no content that I created. So I made a couple of bullet points so I don't get too off topic. But if you've been with me from the beginning, bless you. It's been a rough ride. If you just joined me, thank you so much. I very much appreciate it. I um, am coming up on my 26th month anniversary of walking away from the matrix. Let me explain myself. After 25-ish years as a registered nurse, <clears throat> working critical care, um, the majority of that time, except for maybe six months, I found myself like all of you, um, turned upside down when COVID happened. I, at the time was a, a house supervisor. So I supervised, um, at night for a regional hospital in Georgia. Um, I had been there a couple of years and one of the first things that happened was, you know, everything got shut down. So, um, when the hospital couldn't book OR cases, they started getting rid of personnel and I was technically a new hire. Cause I'd only been there a couple of years. It's one of those really homegrown talent kind of places. And so I was invited to take a contract within the hospital, like as a local traveler to work in ER. They didn't need a, a supervisor because that was a benefited position. They wanted me to work just straight time in the ER, which I said, okay, that's fine. And it was a couple of months um, commitment. So the first month went by okay. And then toward the end of the month, they weren't really using me that often. Um, I didn't have guaranteed hours, didn't have guaranteed pay. That sucks whenever you got bills. And uh, I hadn't won the lottery yet. So anyway, they finagled their way out of scheduling me. They wanted to keep me on call for 30 days. That's not how call works. Anyway. I ended up taking uh, an actual contract in Northeast Georgia Health System, which has multiple ICUs and a couple campuses. And so I was very busy and I was thrust in, you know, bedside COVID ICU, lots of them. Anyway, I was on my way, earning a few bucks to get my way back to um, Houston area where I had been prior and I really felt like um, the, the environment would ultimately end up being better for me to work there. So I get back there and um, I find myself being recruited for the second time by one of the world's largest cancer research hospitals. I'm a cancer survivor times two. I don't really use that label much, but it's just something that I've been through, right? And so 
after years of ER and ICU, my body was breaking down and bad habits. I was drinking. I was, I was dealing with life through the bottom of a whiskey glass. Like a lot of us do. Um, I found that my, my career, everything I ever wanted to do betrayed me. I found that the calling to be a healer and to help people feel better had been kicked to the ra- the curb by um, politics, agendas, narratives, and and all sorts of things I had no part in. But yet I was literally being used in a, as a tool t- to carry out what I perceived as harm to others. So I did that for another two years and I was very ill because of it. I was completely ignoring all my body cues, which were severe debilitating headaches that I worked through. Come to find out I was stroke level, high blood pressure, 50 pounds overweight. That was continuing to go up. I was not really eating. I was really just drinking. Yeah. And I didn't know how I was going to survive. I didn't know how that life was not going to kill me. And in a very low point, I took an overdose of blood pressure pills, hoping I wouldn't wake up. And when I woke up, I thought, well, apparently I'm supposed to be here for something pretty important. They're not letting me check out. So from that day forward, I worked on myself and I weaned myself off of alcohol and I got to where I had some self-compassion. I had given up on that for, for quite a while. I didn't see the point in it. I was really alone in my life physically that my children were grown, gone, doing their thing. Um, and I just didn't see the point. I mean, especially being mandated to wear mask most of my waking hours in order to pay my bills mandated to give scripted information, which was absolutely not true to people who were earnestly asking me for the truth to help them. And I absolutely, I couldn't do it. I was crying before work. I was crying at lunch, going outside every moment I could to rip that fucking mask off my face to get some fresh air, you know, that they were saying, just take some deep breaths. And I'm like, I have a fucking fa- mask on my face. When's the last time you took a deep breath inside of a building? It's hard to do. People look at you like you've just committed a crime. So about the same time, all this was going down. I asked, I mean, I, I knew I had some intuitive pushes that I was a star seed, but I didn't know anything about it. And I was like a indoctrinated healthcare worker survivor. <laughs> That's how I felt. I was like, everything I've ever known is a lie. And I don't know which end is up. So anyway, I was asking on Twitter one day, someone who was talking about doing grid work how would I know if I was starseed? And she really blew me off and didn't have time, (laughs) whatever. But someone else answered and said, you're obviously an Arcturian starseed. They were actually sole family member. And they had been told six months before that encounter on Twitter that they would um, encounter um, the soul of Lord Delphinus, and that would further activate them, which would also activate Lord Delphinus, the person that had Lord Delphinus. I come to find out that's me. And this is a quantum healer imbued with healing abilities from Mother Sophia. And he has the soul, um, walk in soul of Poseidon. And 
I could not get enough of that. I, it felt, I can't explain it to you, but the more he shared with me, the more I felt like I had found my brother, like my long, long like I had been looking for my family and we found each other. So I had a clearing, I had a QET session and got completely clear. And I had been trying to, to meditate for years. And I just felt like I was totally capped off. And so immediately after being clear, I was able to meditate and connect. And I saw beautiful visions and I saw lots of images. And uh, from that, my intuition was already pretty strong, but being clear and being sober really, really helped that. And it just zoomed, my abilities just zoomed up. And so I download my, my strongest Claire ability is Claire cognizant. So information just drops into my being. I just know it. And then a measure of clairvoyant measure of Claire audience. I didn't know about any of that. When I got clear, it was all a whirlwind wake up. This is your life now moment. And I loved every freaking second of it. It felt so right to me. Now, for some months, I had been hearing a very persistent voice saying, start a YouTube channel. To which I would go, that's not for me. That's not my message. And I'd be, be bopping along about my day. Start a YouTube channel. I'm sorry. You must have contacted the wrong human. That cannot be my message. <laughs> But it was source creator and he was stern once I got clear. I know who I'm talking to. This message is for you. You are to start a YouTube channel. You will spread biblical, celestial, spiritual, galactic truth. And in doing so, you will attract your soul family members because that is your mission. And I said, huh? <laughs> oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. I said, wait a minute, how am I going to, how am I going to find these people all over the world? I, first of all, I, I have been told my entire life, it's not what you said, but how you said it. And you want me to make YouTube videos, talking to people, lots of people. It was really funny in that, in those early days of being reminded, mind you, of the soul contract that I had entered into, I raised my hand and came up with all the stuff that I had survived in this life and the things that I was being told I needed to do now. I agreed to all of it before I ever incarnated on this planet. And I felt like Sheldon Cooper in the Big Bang Theory, like who came up with this? But it was the best thing that ever happened. So I started healing disclosures with Nicole and originally it was just on telegram because it was really the only safe space uh, that was a social space. And I was advised that every single comment that anyone made on my videos to ask my higher self, do they have a soul? Are they in alignment to source creator? And are they on the crew? And that's exactly how I found people. It was so amazing. I was like, dang, he is good. <laughs> and I hear myself say that now and I just have to giggle because yes, I had faith, but I was raised Catholic and you know, and you just do a lot of penance and a lot of feeling unworthy in that uh, religion. And so I was so surprised pleasantly that exactly what he said was going to happen, happened exactly like he said it. I just needed to hear and have faith. So I, I learned pretty quickly, a little bit of courage and a whole lot of faith is what you need for this journey. So I'm 26 months in healing disclosures with Nicole. I'm a quantum energy healer. This was the other part of it. I was boohooing and crying and doing all this shadow work about all these wasted years being a registered nurse because I thought that's what I was supposed to do with my life. And Mother Sophia said, of course, that's what you were supposed to do with your life. Those years are not wasted. You will take every ounce of that experience and you will use it for the greater good. I am giving you quantum healing abilities. You are on par with me and you will be able to heal 
like never before and not cause any harm. And I just broke down. I just broke down because that was my dream. That was my wish. And it was being answered in a major way. And I didn't know how, and I didn't have to know how. I just had faith that it was going to be exactly like they promised me it would be. Because I was giving it 100%. So that's how the journey began. And this year, 2024, early 2024, I started to write my first book, which I was guided to do. My main um, guidance, besides my higher self, comes from Mother Sophia, Archangel Metatron, which is my soul grandfather on my father's side. Um, my grandmother, soul grandmother, which is white buffalo calf woman. And the divine feminine ascendant masters of the Sophia dragon tribe. Some of them are soul family and some of them are just really interwoven in what we do because of what they do. And so um, I always check in just like I did today. And I thought I was doing a video on something else. So um, <laughs> El Moria's first ray of light will have to have a different video, a different day. Today, you get to hear about me. So when I started this, I had no idea about soul names and soul paths and soul contracts. And I've learned so much, but completely immersed myself in the student of this life. Everybody comes to it in a different way. People have their own journey. And I respect that 100%. I know what I have done. I know what I've gone through. I know what I've learned and I know what I'm very capable of. And it is beautiful. It's beautiful. So the more I realized, I said, wait, what's my soul name? Because I started to feel less and less um, anchored as Nicole and more and more anchored as my soul. Because I knew the soul contract of Nicole's life was ending. And that happens without death, that happens. And that my mission and my soul path was really aligned with my soul name, which is Andalusia. And I go by Lucy and I'm known by that name throughout the universes. And so that's why you'll see in older videos, the name on the screen is Nicole. And sometimes it says Lord Delphinus because sometimes I was really channeling him through those uh, videos. And now I really predominantly do Nick for Nicole and Lucy, because that's really what I go by. I identify really more as Andalusia. I don't really recognize the person that Nicole used to be. <laughs> She's really gone. So <clears throat> that's why I have two names. It's not because I think I'm two people. It's because I know I had the earthy experience as Nicole, but that I've returned to the soul being Andalusia as I merge in my 5D self. So the more we ascend and the more our frequency rises, the more you will merge with the consciousness of your 5D self or, or the next dimension self. If you're 3D, merge into 4D, you're merging with your 4D self. And the more I do that, the more I experience that life, that world, those pregnancies, those babies, you know, my twin flame and, and my brothers and sisters and nieces and nephews and everywhere, everything. So I anchor that. That is what helps me cope with the transition. It's very long and it's it takes a lot of work and it is not for the faint of heart. But what I do now is, you know, quantum healing and my main route now of, of um, servicing the greater good is through my website, violetlotusenergy.com. So Archangel Metatron advised me to write a book in the beginning of the year, which I did. It's called Sold or Soulless. It's available on Amazon. The link will be in the description of this video. And it is 
a bummer to realize that you can be surrounded by people that don't have a soul, but it's true. You do not have a soul to be alive in your matter. This is just a meat suit that we wear. And it's DNA and it's science, but it's not the spirit. It's not the soul. It's different. There is no death. Death is an illusion. Um, and so my twin flame transitioned in 1994 and I went through a series of really horrible relationships and failed relationships, all in my soul contract to bring me to where I am now. So I'm very grateful for all of those experiences. And if you feel at all drawn to clearing your energy, connecting with me in groups like Telegram or on violetlotusenergy.com, um, getting clear, accessing your spirit team, finding out what your soul path is, realizing that you're here for a bigger purpose and putting your efforts and an energy into that, then I welcome you to start your, your journey, continue your journey, however it, it plays out for you. I now have a staff and we work together for the greater good. All of us are very conscious of um, the different agendas at play in our current world. And we have taken on many, many um, high level missions to help rid the world of dark uh, strongholds. And I'm very proud of the work that we have done. One of the things that we do every day, sometimes multiple times a day, are our love waves because we know that love is the strongest emotion, feeling, frequency that one can have. Love is the key. If you don't know where to begin to start a problem or to solve a problem, begin with the love. Come at it from a heart perspective. So we do love waves and we'll ask in our group, what do we think this love wave should be about and be for? And then we set our intentions and we send out love waves. And I am here to tell you, we get messages in from planets we never heard of and space races we never heard of and other universes. We can send out love that just ripples like a rainbow throughout the universe. And it helps the animal kingdom is grateful um, other space races are grateful and our earth is grateful and it really does help facilitate change. If you want to help and you don't know what else to do, send love, send it out, open your heart chakra big and wide and send it out to the world. That's what we're about. I hope that you have received this message well today. I hope that my reintroduction to you um, has been received well. I invite you to violetlotusenergy.com. Check out our services. All of them uh, work with some of the Ascendant Masters and they're all listed there for you. If you see some things that kind of pique your interest, sort of resonate, but sort of not, you can always send questions in the chat or email and we'll be happy to get back in touch with you. I also have a podcast it's called Truth Resonates, and it drops every Friday morning at 6 a.m. I started that out with mission details, and now I'm covering the um, Divine Feminine Ascendant Masters of the Sophia Dragon Tribe. And from there, I'm not sure where I'm going to go, but it's fun. It's a different aspect than being in front of the camera, and I really do enjoy it. Um, so there's lots of different things. If you're driving around and you want something to listen to that's not music, you can definitely listen to my podcast. It's available on all platforms. And then we have YouTube and Rumble. So some of the juicier stuff that won't survive YouTube is over on Rumble. And that um, link is also in the description of all my videos. So thank you for checking me out. If you're a new subscriber, please comment down below and let me know where you're listening from. And um, ask questions, engage drop a line. Uh, don't be hateful, but you know, you can challenge me. I, people say all the time, how do you know that? Well, I asked source creator. That's how I know. If you could go directly to the source and ask, 
the source, you would. And you can. So you should. That's my recommendation. Throw those books away. Get off Google. It's all, it's all mind manipulation and negative AI warfare, if you ask me. But that's just my opinion. If you have questions, ask them. That's how we challenge the status quo, asking questions. It's okay to ask questions. I encourage you to ask questions. Yeshua loves to remind us that we are supposed to ask questions because we are in a duality planet. And if you don't ask questions, how do you weigh negative polarity and positive polarity? How do you weigh what you're trying to decide with your intuition? You're supposed to be questioning. That's what we're here to do. So thank you for joining me. I hope to see you on violetlotusenergy.com. See you in the comments, either on Truth Resonates or Healing Disclosures with Nicole on YouTube and Rumble. And you're always welcome to pick up a copy of Sold or Soulless on Amazon, ebook or paperback, whichever one you prefer. And I'll see you again next time.